Hello, good evening, how are we all? Thank you for joining us. I uh, hope you're all well. Uh, it is uh, Saturday. That's about all I know. Saturday, the 20th of April. Thank you for joining us tonight. Hope you are all well. Hope you're all uh, having a good weekend so far. I know most of you have had this, I think a lot of you have had the sunshine out today. Uh, it arrived here in Darwin about an hour ago. It's been overcast pretty much most of the day, to be fair. Uh, but no, still here, still smiling, all good and ready to go in. Ah, uh, that's, I knew there was a reason I was keeping that clock open. Since I've changed some bits around, I've not got a clock in here with seconds at the moment. Uh, so I'm heavily relying on the time and date world clock one. There we go. That's better. Yeah, so just under a minute to go before we crack in uh, and get underway this evening. Uh, before I do, uh, there is one thing um, I don't... Yeah, Saturdays normally I don't do shout outs because it's straight in. You know, I've only got a good, like probably about a minute and 30 seconds really before we get straight into the quiz. Uh, but I did see something. I was looking for something in my emails. I did see something earlier. So I've not been on social pages or anything. I don't tend to over the weekend. Um, but I do want to say hello to Jan Anderson. It is her birthday uh, today. Happy birthday to you, Jan. Um, Kate got in touch. And I do remember because, yeah, um, I know you put in the email, but I remember it well because um, you guys are in a band as well. Um, and we were I did a pre-recorded quiz for her dad's 70th birthday last year. Um, so yeah, happy birthday to you, Jan. Sorry, you haven't got a quiz. I mean, <laughs> um, I know we did, did one for the 70th, but not for yours, unfortunately. So sorry about that. Um, I wasn't asked, uh, but I would have done. I would have done and would have happily come along and uh, said hello to you guys again. Uh, but yeah, happy birthday to you, Jan. Hope you've had a good day, which I'm sure you will have done. I'm sure from, uh, you know, speaking to Kate through emails and stuff around you, around her dad's birthday. And you sound like a great fun gang. So I'm sure you've been well looked after uh, this uh, today for your birthday. Uh, oh no, it was your birthday last Thursday. I've just seen that in the email. There you go. There's you. Get your J. Get your J. Mistake bingo cards. There's your first one. Right. Let's get into it. Welcome along, everyone. Thank you very much for joining us. Hope you are all well. It is Saturday, the twentieth of April. Let's roll now. Do remember before I push the button and put the first question up. Do remember the YouTube live chat is on. Uh, but I do have a secret spy sat in the background who is monitoring the YouTube live chat. So please don't put your answers in the comments. You guys have been brilliant with not doing this over the last uh, since it's. Um, since the YouTube live chat's been on on Saturdays. So please do not put your answers in the comments. We do not want to be kicking people out. It is not what we want to do. Uh, so grab yourselves a pen and a piece of paper, get yourselves settled in, and uh, we're good to go. Right, after three, one, two, three, here's your first question. And it is this, name the actress for number one. So name the actress for number one. I've just taken two anodine as well that I've got caffeine in. So in about, I've cut caffeine out. I've been so good. I've not been drinking Coca-Cola or anything like that for about two months now. Um, but yeah, so I'm probably about to be wired in a sooner these kick in. Just in case you're wondering. Uh, number two, which Scottish singer had albums? Something to shout about. New Roots and her highest charting UK album, Together. Hmm. Uh, so which Scottish singer had album Something to Shout About, New Roots and her highest charting UK album Together? Yeah, I drank that cherry aid far too quick. <laughs> Numero three, the telly bow was a crossbar attached to a TV camera was the main feature of which game show? A couple of these questions, by the way, have come up, but not in the last three years. Uh, it's just I'm writing so many questions at once at the minute. Um, I am going through my archives just to fill some gaps where I've got them. So uh, there might be some questions over the next couple of quizzes that you go, I'm sure we've had that before. Um, yes, but they're not recent. I'm not looking. I'm only looking at the 2020 quizzes and my older archives as well. Just in case you think I'm sure we've had this not doing complete rounds or anything like that. At number four, which of these Star Wars films was released first? Was it The Force Awakens? Was it Revenge of the Sith? Uh, Return of the Jedi or A New Hope? So which of these Star Wars films was released first? The Force Awakens, Revenge of the Sith, Return of the Jedi or A New Hope? A 
what time do you call this vicky rolling in at this hour on question four shocking at uh, number five which group had hit had hissed had hits even with i want you back abc and dancing machine so which group had hits with i want you back abc and dancing machine Yeah, yeah. <laughs> At number six, which singer was born Georgius Kyriakos Panitutu? <laughs> which singer was born Georgius Kyriakos Panayatu? That is an old question from 2020, and I remember I couldn't pronounce it back then either. Hey. <sighs> Uh, number seven, who played the role of Special Agent Gracie Hart in Miss Congeniality? Uh, who played the role of Special Agent Gracie Hart in Miss Congeniality? <laughs> go. Caffeine's kicking in. <laughs> Uh, number eight, which singer's first three number ones were a moment like this, Bleeding Love and Run? Just to clarify, they weren't their this singer's first three singles, because uh, one of them didn't go to number one in between. Uh, but yes, which singer's first three number ones were a moment like this, Bleeding Love and Run? Number nine, Dusty Bin was the mascot and booby prize of which game show? I, no, I was going to say something, but then it gives away the answer. I mean, I know there's some of you trying to do some actions at home right now, but. And number 10, which movie series had films Pet Detective? And when nature calls. So which movie series had films Pet Detective and When Nature Calls? So round two then is not science and nature, it is not geography, it's not sport and leisure, it's not food and drink, it is returning, it is some history for you. Uh, something old, something new, something borrowed from the archives, and uh, I don't think there's anything blue in here. And we'll save that for the general knowledge round. Uh, but here we go, some history for you, starting with this, number one, Genghis Khan was the first ruler of which empire? So Genghis Khan was the first ruler of which empire? Number two, what was the name of the British Mars lander that was lost in 2003? Was it called Spaniel 2? Was it called Beagle 2? Rover 2? Or Labrador 2? <laughs> what was the name of the British Mars lander that was lost in 2003? Uh, was it Spaniel 2, Beagle 2, Rover 2 or Labrador 2? It looks like I might have... Um, Given Phil and Tracy a bit of a fright, they just said, few thought it was going to be flags. <laughs> I, know. I have an idea with flags. Hmm. That's all I'm telling you. I've got an idea with flags. See. Uh, number three. How old was Mary, Queen of Scots, when she inherited the throne? Was she six, 12 or 18? How old was Mary, Queen of Scots, when she inherited the throne? Was she 6, 12 or 18? No, 
know, I've, I've come up with the, I've, you know, everyone's going to know flags now. I've come up with a way to reintegrate flags into the quiz without it affecting those who don't like flags. Cunning. And number four, which year did Queen Elizabeth II declare her Annus Horribilis? So which year did Queen Elizabeth II declare her Annus Horribilis? I'm trying to work out if I've got hiccups, if I need... Uh, yeah, I don't know what I've got going on at the minute. Uh, edit. Close. Close. Number five, at the time it took place, where was the Battle of Waterloo? Was it Belgium? The United Kingdom? Uh, sorry, start that again. Uh, at the time it took place, where was the Battle of Waterloo? Was it Belgium, United Kingdom of the Netherlands or France? So at the time it took place, where was the Battle of Waterloo? Was it Belgium, United Kingdom of the Netherlands or France? Uh, it was on mute, but there was a train. Uh, number six, which country's Latinized name is Cambria? Common, common urban myth that is frequently banded around that the Romans gave this said country this name, but it didn't. Uh, but which country's Latinized name is Cambria? Pesky Romans get blamed for everything, but this one was not one of theirs. Uh, number seven, Pompeii was burned under the... Uh, burned. Pompeii was buried under the ash of which volcano? Volcano. Uh, Pompeii was buried under the ash of which volcano? Yeah, it is hiccups I've got. I've just, <laughs> I've just worked it out. 13 questions and then I can fix it. At number eight, which monuments are known as empty tombs erected to symbolize the unprecedented losses during World War One? So which monuments are known as empty tombs erected to symbolize the unprecedented losses during World War One? At number nine, the videotape wars of the 70s were between VHS and which other format? So the videotape wars of the 70s were between VHS and which other format? I was thinking about this the other day. I would, what, what kind of a world would we live in now if the other format won? These are the kind of things that keep me awake at night. <laughs> And finally, number 10, which monarch died in 1901? If you know your history, a nice easy one to finish off the round. Uh, which monarch died in 1901? Final round before we take a break. It is Saturday, so here's some more blockbuster style questions for you. I've refreshed my database over the last couple of weeks. Uh, here we go. Number one, what L-O-T-L -L is a common autumn phrase to explain train delays? Don't mock the mini disc. I like the mini disc. Uh, what L-O-T-L -L is a common autumn phrase to explain train delays? All the music in a children's theatre I worked in, all the music was on mini disc. So don't mock the mini disc. I like the mini disc. Uh, 
Oh, too far. Number two, what TD is an American holiday in November? So what TD is an American holiday in November? Uh, number three, what GT was home to William Shakespeare plays? So what a GT was home to William Shakespeare plays? Uh, number four, what CDS is the French term for dead end? So what CDS is the French term for dead end? Boom, 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 boom. At number five, what GF is a disease sometimes called mono or the kissing disease? Disease. So what GF is a disease, sometimes called mono or kissing disease. Stop it. And number six, what HWB is a useful item to help warm up? So what HWB is a useful item to help warm up? Number, there we go. Number seven, what FF was grown in the Garden of Eden? So what FF was grown in the Garden of Eden? No, I definitely, sorry, someone thinks they've misheard me. I definitely said kissing. Uh, number eight, what WP is a sport played in a pool without horses? So what WP is a sport played in a pool without horses? Uh, two to go, number nine. There we go, two to go, number nine. Uh, what WS is a nausea instigated anxiety? Uh, what WS is a nausea instigated anxiety? And your final one, number 10, what sci, uh, what, no, what sciatic, start again, what SI, ATC is a saying for a minor issue blown out of proportion. So what SI, ATC is a saying for a minor issue blown out of proportion. I know that's probably far too many letters than you would see on the Blockbusters Gold Run, but yeah. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> Okay, they are up on the hub. Uh, start again. They are up on the hub right now. So if you head on over to jvpqquestions.com.
scan.com or scan the QR code on the left hand side. It will take you to the main page and then click on the menu 20th of April and the first three rounds are there. Uh, so if you want a recap on any of those, head there right now. Um, so for your first break, uh, yes, there we go. I just couldn't re quite remember what I'd done for this week and next week. So uh, for your first break tonight, I am going to give you one, two, I'm going to give you nine TV shows. Okay, all you need to do is put them in order of the most episodes the TV show has had. Okay, that simple. So put these TV shows in order of most episodes. That's throughout their entirety, not like this year or anything. So how put these TV shows in order of the most episodes through their lifespan, basically. I think all of them are still going, actually. Let me just double check. Mm -hmm. That one is kind of, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's all you need to do. And I shall return. It is, oh, hang on, I'm not set it up. That one there, uh, that on, that on, that on, back to that one, and then we're good. Right, I will see you in seven minutes.
Okay, I'll put these into some kind of order for you. In a, well, in the correct order, not some kind of... Yeah, I'll just put them in another random order and it'll make no sense. Oh, get a grip, Flynn. Uh, right, so yeah, put your last answers into the slots you want to put them in. Stop giggling. Right, here we go. Let's put these in order in three, two, one. <clears throat> So working our way up uh, from the bottom to the top, uh, you have The One Show has done 3,499 episodes, apparently, according to the list I saw earlier. So, yeah, The One Show there with 3,499. Then you have Blue Peter with 5,173. Uh, Hollyoaks in seventh with 6,040. I didn't realise that um, Hollyoaks had had that many episodes, to be fair, but it's on five well, it was on five days a week. I think they're cutting it back now. Uh, EastEnders in sixth with 6,640. Countdown, which has been going... Uh, Countdown is just slightly younger than I am, um, with 8,014 episodes. It's first broadcast in 1982. Uh, you've got Home and Away then uh, in fourth with 8,220. Uh, Neighbours in third there with 9,015. Emmerdale is second with 9,587. And top of the shop, Coronation Street has been going with 11,138. So there you go. That's your order. Well done if you got any of those right. And three, two, one, they're gone. Right. Uh, answers then for your first part of your quiz are coming up in a short moment's time. I'll let you just put your final answers down. Uh, if you weren't with us on Thursday night, as you can see behind me, I have a physical copy of the book. It is turned up. Um, it arrived a couple of weeks earlier than I was expecting. So, um, yeah, it is there. Sarah is finally getting to read it. So for the 18 months that I've put it together, Sarah has not read it. She started it the other night. Uh, the reason being, she is, she much prefers, she's not a Kindle person, she much prefers a physical book, uh, whereas I, I don't mind either way kind of thing. Uh, so yes, she is finally getting to read it. It's going to be interesting. Uh, so obviously she's not read it before it went to print. But no, um, I mean, she she was part of the interview process. Gary and I, you know, went to her for sort of all sorts of bits and pieces um, just to check factually and stuff and make sure she was happy with certain bits being included as well. Uh, so, yeah, so she is reading it as we speak. So she's in theory, she'll be the first person to read the actual physical book. Yeah, that's a good point. So, yeah, she said to me, am I going to sign it as well? So you're going to sign it? I said, yeah, read it first and then I'll sign it. Uh, not that one. That's not the one I want. That's the one I want. Uh, so, yeah, uh, I'll come back to the book, actually, when uh, I've done some bits. Uh, right. Here we go, then. So let's go through your first 30 answers. See how you're doing so far. Entertainment number one. Uh, name the actress. That is Halle Berry. Number two, which Scottish singer had albums something to shout about? New Roots and her highest charting UK album, which was Together, it was Lulu. Number three, the telly bow, a crossbow attached to a TV camera was the main feature of which game show? It was The Golden Shot. And number four, which of these Star Wars films was released first? It was A New Hope. That was the first one to be released, even though it's not the first if you watch them in the proper timeline. But it was the first one to be released. Number five, which group had hits with I Want You Back, ABC and Dancing Machine? It was the Jackson Five. The did the, the, the Jackson Five. Number six, which singer was born Georgius Kyriakos Paniatou? It was George Michael. And number seven, who played the role of special agent Gracie Hart in Miss Congeniality? It was Sandra Bullock. And number eight, which singer's first three number ones were A Moment Like This, Bleeding Love and Run? It was Leona Lewis. Number nine, Dusty Bin was the mascot and booby prize of which game show? It was three, two, one. I can't do the whole flicking of finger round. I end up just swearing at people when I try to do it. But yeah, I know some of you can probably do it. Three, two, one. Yeah. And number 10, which movie series had films Pet Detective and When Nature Calls? It's Ace Ventura. Your history. Number one, Genghis Khan was the first ruler of which empire? It was the Mongol Empire. Number two, what was the name of the British Mars lander that was lost in 2003? It was Beagle 2. Although, 
uh, it was lost, but I, I must have missed this news article. But when I was putting this together uh, in 2016, they found it. And it's it's there. It kind of sort of survived. It just can't do what it's supposed to be doing. It can't it can't call home. It needs to get some tips from ET. Uh, number three, how old how old how old even was Mary Queen of Scots when she inherited the throne? She was six. Uh, so I can't remember if it was, who it was that died that meant that she became uh, she basically had the throne. Um, but yeah, so she was six when she inherited the throne. Number four, which year did Queen Elizabeth II declare her Annus Horribilis? It was 1992. Number five, at the time it took place, where was the Battle of Waterloo? It was the United Kingdom of the Netherlands, which is now Belgium, but at the time it was the United Kingdom of the Netherlands. Number six, which country's Latinized name is Cambria? It is Wales. Number seven, Pompeii was buried under the ash of Vesuvius. Mount Vesuvius. And number eight, which monuments are known as empty tombs erected to symbolize the unprecedented losses during World War One? They are sent it's they're called the Cenotaph. Cenotaph, yeah. It's always eerie walking past the one on Whitehall. At uh, number nine, the videotape wars of the 70s were between VHS and which other format? It's Betamax. Oh, it's, yeah, these are the things that keep me up at night. What would have happened if Betamax won? Hmm. And number 10, which monarch died in 1901? It was Queen Victoria. Uh, into your blockbusters, number one, what L-O-T-L -L is a common autumn phrase to explain train delays? It is leaves on the line. Leaves on the line. Yeah, I'm right. And number two, what TD is an American holiday in November? It's Thanksgiving Day. Number three, what GT was home to William Shakespeare plays? It's the Globe Theatre. Number four, what CDS is the French term for dead end? It is cul-de-sac. Number five, what GF is a disease sometimes called mono or kissing disease? It is glandular fever. Just making sure to emphasize this time in case. Uh, number six, what HWB is a useful item to help warm up? It is a hot water bottle. Number seven, what FF was grown in the Garden of Eden? It was forbidden fruit. And uh, number eight, what WP is a sport played in a pool without horses? It is water polo. Number nine, what WS is a nausea instigated anxiety? It is worried sick. Anxiety part is worried and the nausea sick, worried sick. And number 10, what SIATC is a saying for a minor, minor issue blown out of proportion? It is storm in a teacup. Storm in a teacup. Yeah, I am right. So that then is your first 30 questions and answers for you. Totty scores up. How are you getting on? You've got the YouTube live chat because it is Saturday night. So you can stick your halftime scores into there. So let us know how you let, let me know how you're getting on. Uh, still to come, a connections round and general knowledge. I have a disclaimer on the connections round. And no, it's not Monopoly before anyone jumps on that. Um, I thought I hadn't used this over the last four years. And when I was doing some uh, sort of admin bits, because this I wrote a good couple of weeks, uh, about a week ago, I think I wrote this. So when I was doing a couple of admin bits, putting them into technical stuff, uh, it turns out I have actually done this. They are different questions to the in the main, but yeah, this I have actually. I don't know why it was still on my list, but I have done this. I've got about seventy connection round ideas on my list, so I don't know how this stayed there. I must have forgotten to delete it. Um, so yeah, disclaimer, this has been done before. It is not Monopoly, but yeah, it's fine. The questions are, are different and the answers are in a different order. <laughs> right, scores are coming through. I've seen a couple of 30 out of 30 so far. Well done to you guys for that. Uh, but let's get into it then. So connections round, nine questions. Question number 10, what links the answers together? So it'll be interesting to see if you get the answers and then see if you can actually remember what it was. No, it's not Spice Girls. It is not Spice Girls. Number one. Uh, name the game show for this. This is why I know that the questions aren't the same because I wouldn't have had a picture in a connection round. 
um, back when I did this. So name the game show for number one. Number two, what is the name of a container with a... F Hold, please. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I thought I had. I've given you the answer. I've given I've given you the answer to the question in that. You get a point and you get a point and you get a point. What is the name of a container with a flat box and sides? It's supposed to be a flat lid and sides, but I've put the answer in the question. So there you go. You will, you will get one answer for the quick connection round. Number three, what is the name of the sixth planet from the sun? So what is the name of the sixth planet from the sun? Uh, number four, complete the name of the TV show judged by Greg Wallace and John Tarode. It's called What Chef? <laughs> I'm getting told off now. No answers in the quiz. Sorry. I know I've sat there and told everyone not to put answers in the YouTube live chat. And there's me just putting them in the actual question itself. Uh, number four, complete the name of the TV show judged by Greg Wallace and John Tarode. It's called What Chef? I mean, would you expect anything less from a quiz of mine? There has to be some kind of stupidity in it. And number five, what is the name of a series of thoughts, images and sensations occurring in a person's mind during sleep? So what is the name of a series of thoughts, images and sensations occurring in a person's mind during sleep? Number six, what is the fifth vowel in the alphabet? Train. So what is the fifth vowel in the alphabet? There's an almighty delay tonight, I've just realised as well. It's normally about 15 second delay, but this seems to be quite a big delay tonight. Uh, number seven, what is the first book of the Old Testament? So what is the first book of the Old Testament? I thought you'd done this connection. Oh, I have. I have done the connection, but the questions are in the main different. Uh, number eight, what E is a form of activity that holds the attention and interest of an audience? <laughs> what E is a form of activity that holds the attention and interest of an audience? Number nine, what is the name of a device used to make or break the connection in an electric circuit? So what is the name of a device used to make or break the connection in an electric circuit?
As always, question 10, what links those nine answers together? They want to be together. I don't know where that's come from. Here you go. That's the caffeine. Uh, so, yeah, what links those nine answers together? <laughs> It's a bit better. But I do feel now I'm like all down. Uh, right, general knowledge then to wrap up this evening's quiz. Number one, 10 random. Uh, which fairy line, which start again, which fairy tale has the lines, let down your hair that I may climb thy golden stair? I've lost the thing now. That's a bit better. Uh, which fairy tale has the lines, let down your hair that I may climb thy golden stair? Number two, Taylor's, Dow Vintage, and Coburn's are brands of which drink? So Taylor's, Dow Vintage, and Coburn's are brands of which drink? Number three, in the USA, ICE stands for Immigration and Customs what? So in the USA, ICE stands for Immigration and Customs what? It's pronounced Coburn's, right? I had this in running pubs for years. Okay, it's Coburn's. Uh, number four, what is the name of that vehicle? So what is the name of that vehicle? Number five, what is the name of the scale measuring wind intensity? So what is the name of the scale measuring wind intensity? Number six, in which 1971 musical, pay close attention to the year, uh, in which 1971 musical would you find the songs Pure Imagination, The Candyman and The Bubble Machine? Because if I was marking someone's quiz sheet and they didn't have this correct, I would give it wrong. Just so you know. <laughs> uh, but in which 1971 musical would you find the songs Pure Imagination, The Candyman and The Bubble Machine? Who are you guys marking it so it's entirely up to you? I just know I'm competitive and evil. <laughs> train and uh, number seven what is the nearest planet to the sun so what is the nearest planet to the sun Uh, number eight, what is the traditional measure of a drag race distance? Is it a quarter of a mile, one mile, or one and a quarter miles? So what is the traditional measure of a drag race distance? Is it a quarter of a mile, one mile, or one and a quarter miles? Uh, 
Number nine, Mount Everest lies in which mountain range? And your final question this evening, number 10, name the mobile game from this picture. Can't have been taken from Sarah's phone or from my friend Hayley's phone because they're only what looks to be on level 219 and I believe they're in the 5000s. I'm saying nothing. Okay, those final ones then, those final <laughs> addictive. Uh, those final rounds are up now on the quiz hub. So head on over there. I'm in the process actually of um, getting everything transferred over uh, to our new website where everything's going to be, all sorts going on on the new website. Uh, so I'm in the process. But for now, it will still be on uh, jvpqquestions.com. Uh, so head on over there or scan the QR code and it will take you to it. Uh, right, let me just get everything done. So that goes there, that goes off, that goes on, that goes on, that goes back to there. Uh, so uh, all you need to do is ding bats for your final break. Uh, so nine of these are going to appear on screen. Very tricky tonight, some of these. Very, very tricky tonight uh but all you need to do is say what you see simple as that and i'll be back in seven minutes ah uh, hang on that one i'll be back in seven
Okie dokie, I'm going to give you some answers to these in a second, so get your final ones down. A bit trickier tonight, these are some of the harder ones that have been left in uh, in the set that I got sent over. I keep saying that there's not many left, but there isn't many left, but these are the, the harder ones. So well done if you got these. And three, two, one, time's up. Here we go. Uh, so number one then is going around in circles. Uh, number two, easy come, easy go. Number three is dominoes. And uh, number four, until death us do part. Uh, number five, a cut above the rest. Number six, just right. Uh, number seven, life begins at 40. Mm, I slightly beg to differ on that one, but yeah, that's the same. And uh, number eight, shape up or ship out. And finally, number nine, and I like this one, line up in alphabetical order. Very clever. I like that one. Uh oh, here comes trouble. Here does come trouble. Yes. Bin. What, what? Bin. What's bin? Bin. What? Oh, oh, oh. Are you. Are you okay? Bin. 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 Oh, 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 no. Bin. Yes. Oh, 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 no. Not what I <laughs> Right, you go. And you're going to bed. Right, go on. Off you go. Meow, meow. Meow, meow. Right, love you. I don't see what it puts on the screen. Why is it with Polo? I don't know. Right. Ben, Ben, Ben. Okay, off you pop. You're running out of time. Go. Mummy's going to come up and get in a sec. Right, okay, let's go through the answers then to the final. I don't know I get to jump, jump and wake up anyway. Okay. Right, here we go. Let's give you the answers then to the final part of the quiz. Ben, 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 ben. Oh, 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 no. Number one. Ben, Name ben. the game show that is The Cube. Go on. Go. 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 Number two, what is the name of a container with a flat box and sides? Would you believe it's called a box? I think I know the one with square. Okay. Uh, number three, what is the name? Okay. Yeah. Uh, what is the name of the sixth planet from the sun? It is Saturn. Yes. Uh, number four, complete the name of the TV show judged by Greg Wallace and John Turow. It is MasterChef. And the first one is Red Bull 4. <laughs> right, go on, disappear. The first one is Red Bull 4, by the way. Go on, off you go. Number five, what is the name of a series of thoughts, images and sensation occurring in a person's mind during sleep? It is dreams. He's no idea what he's talking about. And number six, what is the fifth vowel in the alphabet? It is U, A-E-I-O, U. Don't know why I sang that, but there you go. And number seven, what is the first book of the Old Testament? It is Genesis. Number eight, what E is a form of activity that holds the attention and interest of an audience? It is entertainment. Number nine, what is the name of a device used to make or break the connection in an electric circuit? It is switch. And so what links those nine answers together? They are all games consoles. So yeah, different questions to last time, because I know, like I said, for the, uh, the cube one in the top and I definitely didn't give you the box answer last time uh, so definitely different questions uh, but the same connection there so they are all different types of games consoles uh, so you got the Wii U and the Nintendo Entertainment System and the um, Sega Saturn and all those kind of things there well done if you got that general knowledge number one which fairy tale has the lines let down your hair that I may climb thy golden stair it is Rapunzel Number two, Taylor's, Dow Vintage and Coburn's are brands of which a drink. It is port. You have no idea how many times since I wrote that I've been making sure that it's in my head that way pronounced. So it didn't say something rude. 
<laughs> Number three in the USA, ICE stands for Immigration and Customs Enforcement. Number four, what is the name of that vehicle? That is a Sinclair C5. Number five, what is the name of the scale measuring wind intensity? It is the Beaufort scale. No, I think I had Commodore in last time. Uh, I seem to vaguely remember Commodore around a Lionel Richie question. Uh, number six, in which 1971 musical would you find the songs Pure Imagination, The Candyman and The Bubble Machine? It is Willy Wonka and The Chocolate Factory. That is what it was called back in 1971. Willy Wonka and The Chocolate Factory. Number seven, what is the nearest planet to the sun? It is Mercury. Number eight, what is the traditional measure of a drag race distance? It's a quarter of a mile. Fans of the Fast and the Furious, you will have remembered that. I live my life a quarter mile of a time. Uh, number nine, what mountain, uh, Mount, meh, 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 uh, the Himalayas. That's the most important part of that, not just Himalayas. And finally, number 10, name the mobile game. That is Candy Crush. Which I believe, if I remember reading right, something over the last few weeks, probably the reason I put it in, uh, that has overtaken sales of handhold, handheld games consoles for the first time. So that, the, the Candy Crush has been downloaded more times than people have had games consoles, like handheld games consoles, like Game Boys and stuff like that. Uh, right, Tot, your scores up. Let me just put the after quiz post up. Well, um, seems to be on that much of a delay. I don't think it will be. Uh, I'm just waiting for it to post. There we go. Uh, yeah, right. So the after quiz post is up on Facebook and Instagram now. So head on over there and share your scores with me and let me know how you got on if you want or need a tie-breaking question, it is this. And in honour of tomorrow, and a massive, massive good luck. Uh, having done two of them myself, I know exactly how you are feeling right now. Uh, but the London Marathon takes place tomorrow. But what is the highest elevation point in feet? So what is the highest point of the course, basically? So the 26.2 mile course, uh, what is the highest elevation point that the runners tomorrow will reach? Massive good luck. I have the utmost respect. Like I say, I've done two. I kind of do want to do a third because three sounds better than two. Uh, but if I do a third, it won't be London. Uh, I am, yeah, I'm, I'm looking at something else, but that's a year or so out at the minute. Um, but yeah, so the London Marathon takes place tomorrow. What is the highest elevation point in feet? Okay. So remember, nearest to this gets the point in three, two, one. It's 172 feet. That is the highest elevation point. It's at 1.43 miles in. Uh, so if you are doing the London Marathon tomorrow, good luck. The highest point you will reach is 172 foot. After that, it is downhill. <laughs> I can guarantee you it is all downhill. Uh, not downhill as in it's going to go really badly. It is all downhill. So you don't, you're not having to push and go up. Uh, but yeah, best of luck to anyone who is doing the London Marathon tomorrow. Absolute full hearty respect from me for it. So good luck to you all. Uh, and hopefully stay safe and get yourselves a nice good time. Uh, and also raise lots of money for charity, which is what most people will be doing. Uh, right, that is it for me. Thank you very, very much for joining us on this Saturday night. Uh, so I'm back next week, as always, Thursday night, usual time, usual place, eight o'clock on Thursday night here on YouTube. Saturday night is pre-recorded. The reason being it is we're having a party because it's Jack and Sarah's birthday a week on Monday. So we are doing what we did last time. And we've got six, I think six or seven of his school friends are coming here uh, to the house. Uh, weather's looking good. So they'll be running around the garden for a few hours. So I won't be able to uh, um, sort of have everything set up during the day on Saturday. So next Saturday is pre-recorded. So keep an eye out for the link if you only play on Saturdays. Keep an eye out for that or make sure you're subscribed on our, on YouTube and you'll get the notification. Um, but yeah, that's it from me. Share your scores. Let me know how you got on and I shall return on Thursday night. Uh, or if I don't see you Thursday night, I'll see you Saturday. That is it from me. Thank you very much for being here tonight and I will see you all soon. As always from me, take care. Stay safe.